Hello, I am Bob Ingerson. Okay, Bob, how long have you been at Fairview? I've been here for um, about two years. And how old are you today? Unfortunately, I'm... I guess my first question is, what do you remember from your childhood until you were up until the accident? Well, not much, but as you can guess, because of my head injury. But I did know very well that I had no, no, um, no, um, Mon stays at any any town or anything because I was going between this parent and that parent and, well the real parents and it rotted now the number of did I tell you the number of days? No, no, no. no. Number of months. No. Okay. They were at most from one day to six weeks. No, six months. In different places? Yeah. Yes, in different places. Okay. Starting off with New Hampshire and then going over to um, Maine and I, I spent some time in um, Connecticut, and I also spent time in good old Vermont. So Bob, during that time, do you remember who you were living with? Most of the time, but it can get quite confusing. Seems as I had so many different homes and so many different different um mothers and fathers. Bob, what do you remember about the accident? 
I remember it being a Ford Pinto. I remember it being a blitzed ride and I remember the car was was um up in the air five times and I remember the car was doing a somersault between each one. Bob, do you remember what you were doing before the accident? Bob, what did you do after you left the party? I was going to just go into my house, but of course I couldn't because I had my brand new clothes, which were my school clothes. And uh, there was my mother and step and uh, no foster mother and and um foster father and they didn't like the idea of me wearing those brand new clothes partying. So you had a friend come by and pick you up? Yep. Bob, when your friend showed up with a car and asked you if there was another party or he knew where there was another party and you guys took off? Well, yeah, but we kind of mismatched the, the direction. We went south instead of north. And you were driving? Yes, I was because he was in, in um, a, a um, worse condition. He was in a a um, passed out condition. And at the time you were driving, how old were you? Fifteen. Bob, how fast were you driving the car? Well, I think I was going about... Well, the police said that I was going about... Um... 130... Five miles an hour. And where was your friend? Passed out. In in the passenger seat? Yeah. Bob, did you have your seat belt on? No.
Okay, so you got off a exit ramp, and what do you remember? I remember flying. I remember somersaults. I remember going back down, then flying somersaults, going back down, flying somersaults, going back down. Do you remember how many somersaults you actually did? Five. Bob, how long were you in a coma? I was in a coma for three months. Three, three um, weeks and one day. Did you know where you were when you woke up? I, I had no idea because I woke up and in a different state than I was when I left. Where did you wake up? Kennedy Memorial Hospital. And well, actually it was Kennedy Memorial. Um, um, rehab Center. And where is that? At that point. And that is in Boston. Bob, after you left Kennedy Memorial, where did you go? I went to Crockett Mountain to um, Lower Mountain. And how long were you there for? Five years. Five of the longest years you've ever spent. What is Crotchet Mountain? It is a rehab center. So, Bob, where are you living right now? Um, Laconia, New Hampshire. Bob, what kind of stuff do you do when you're at the house? Well, when I'm at the house, I'm looking for a way out. <laughs> um, but besides that, there is a man standing right behind the, the camera who does a minor job of cooking while well, I take over the rest. Awesome. You like to cook? Yes. Nice. I love to cook because I can cook anything diet. What do you like to cook the best? My best is um, is, um, Lobster Newberg? Yeah, Lobster Newberg. And it, it is the most, the most absolutely great. Mm -hmm.